Hello, people on the internet. My name is Adam. Welcome back to Minecraft, and welcome back to 8-Bit SMP Season 2. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching my channel today. And today, it's gonna be, might be much the same as last episode, guys. I don't know, but there's a few things I want to show you. Like, for instance, I have gone ahead and started decorating my house. Got a nice table right there underneath the chandelier. This is my brewing station for my vending machine, which you guys all saw last episode. I haven't gotten anything brewing in there right now, and there's so much rotten flesh in my inventory. What is that? Why? Why? I No. Uh, hold on, hold on. I've got a cat roaming around my room, and she just tried to crawl across my lap, and I'm not going to have that. Uh, uh, there we go. Goodbye to the rotten flesh, and goodbye to the bones, and now she's on the back of my chair. You realize you're being a bit of a nuisance right now, right, kitty? Huh? She doesn't care. Of course she doesn't. Alright, uh, so we have a couple new builds I want to show you guys on the server, um, in addition to showing off this, which has a nice little couch, it might change in the future, a table, some carpeting, and everything right there. We have a few new things I wanted to go go ahead and show you, show off to you guys in this episode. Um, oh, oh, one of my armor stands, I have any pants. Um, for instance, we have this, and this, and this, we've got a couple of, that's nothing new, you guys saw that last episode. What I really, and you always all saw upstairs, I did change the bed around a bit. What I really wanted to show you guys was down here. Now, you, this looks like my storage room, of course, which it is. It, it largely is, but um, I wanted to show you guys what was going on down here. Say, and this is going to keep going along with the castle theme I was talking about. Say I ever had to escape in a hurry. Um, all I'd have to do is dig down there and throw down, a, put down a few pieces of cobblestone or something like that. Something similar to that effect right down there. And just go over this way, and boom! I'm already out of my castle, and we down the waterfall, and I'm able to escape off to the distance, and I'm nice and safe and sound, and that's what I like to be, guys. So, we so if there's ever a siege, my castle on the hill up there. Now we know how I can get out. Of course, I might want to change that now because if there's ever a siege, I don't want people watching and finding out where I am <laughs> and what happened. That's a stupid mistake of you, Adam. Uh, another one of my builds that I did recently, guys, that I wanted to really highlight and show off to you um, was one that I'm not entirely happy with, and I might tear it down and rebuild it in the future. I don't, I don't know. <coughs> um, your guys' opinions are just as much as importance to me and the other members as the rest of the channel. Um, so it's not just our decisions. I want you to leave me messages and that kind of thing to let me know what you guys think and what we should be doing. Now, the roof doesn't look quite as right, but it's kind of hard to do in Minecraft anyway. I tried to make a reconstruction of the Eiffel Tower, um, and that's what I ended up with. It didn't work that well. <laughs> um, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, she's starting to want to get on my bed. Okay. I yeah, I got a kitty in my room right now. No. What? Okay, I don't know what she's doing right now, but she's trying to make herself the most annoying cat in the world as possible. Uh, that's nothing new. And you kind of get a view of my castle. Oh, disappeared. And the dun at least you get a view of the dungeon, at least, over there. Uh, I've got to remember to stop zooming in, but uh, you actually get a fairly nice view from the top here. I mean, I tried to make it as good as I possibly could and as close to the real thing, but that's kind of difficult to do in Minecraft. I mean, I know it's been done, but that's usually hours and hours of work, and I didn't have a lot of time. And I want to make sure I got this built and set up, so I do like the way this was done here. These little empty block things, these kind of lattice type thing leading up to the tower. I do like how that was done. And when we get up top, you happen to have a very nice view of the surroundings. So you see the dungeon over there, um, the sand castle. You actually see a little bit of the towers over there um, from Tynite Towers, I think is what it's going to be. Um, see the nice from the mountains right there. And again, she's back on the back of my chair. <laughs> Willow, you're not helping matters. Um, back down to the base of it here, you kind of have a little area. And I took off my feather falling boots, guys, but I should, probably should fix it and put back on, which I will, and maybe before the next episode. Um, you kind of have a nice little walkout right here, and then, of course, you just want to get down nice and easily. There you are right there, and you're down. So that's the Eiffel Tower. Now, we do have something going on new in the Nether, guys. I especially wanted to highlight and show off for you. So let's get to it. So it kind of became a common consensus between the members of the server that we needed another hub. That that's just something that we've been putting off for long enough, and it needs to happen. So I and Kurt or Gucci Troopa and Ivy came down here, and we started work on this um, along with Project Zero and one of the new members, uh, Nick or Tamarack, I think it is. Um, we all came down here and. Uh, we start working on it. Ivy's in charge of the floors. We've got a bunch of smelting things right now. It's a giant mess. <laughs> uh, the walls are all stone brick, except for this one right here, which I actually wanted to highlight to you guys. 
um, here because it's actually kind of scary because it so happens that our nether hub sits, our nether tunnel sit right above a lava pit right there. So Kurt and Ivy decided to make the scariest walk over as possible, especially with Optifine on, guys. Come on here. Um, so we go ahead and we run over this way, and that's near another hub right there. Mysterious cows, somebody's unknown cow farm. We don't know who that is, but we're keeping it around anyway. And of course, that portal, as you guys know, as last time, brings us right back to Kurt and Ivy's special little love farm. Uh, um, as I think I showed off to you guys last episode, um, another member I want to highlight this episode as we go through here is Project Zero. Um, now, you guys saw his base last time, but he actually had another base that he started in on that I never really showed off before, and I don't think he really showed off either. It's actually pretty cool, so we just need to go ahead and hop across another hub like this. With any luck, the floor is not going to fall from underneath me. And we get different other hubs and that kind of thing. And then there's something along that direction, which I'll show off to you. Uh, it's actually the Mega Taiga biome that we found out that, guys, are really not all that interesting, but I thought you guys might like to see it anyway. So this tunnel you guys might recognize from last episode because I took you guys down here the Blaze Farm right here before, um, which is right through there. And then, just to show you how awesome he is a building, he's got a work in progress village at the moment. Now, I'm not talking about your typical Minecraft village. Um... As much as I'm talking about, oh, it's nighttime. Eh, we'll deal with it. Um, as much as I'm talking about an actual, you know, city-like clay block thing village, that I think he put on a hiatus for the moment. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Uh, regardless, I thought it was important enough to show off here. Basically, this is like part two to the tour episode of the server. I promise, guys, there's going to be more collabs going on in the future. Um, I know we have still have a lot to do, which I want to make sure we got people on cam for. Um... The Wither fight hasn't happened yet. We haven't even found the end yet. Um, but this is his work in Project Village, which... Project? Work and Progress Village, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, he hasn't done much with it, but it looks like a legitimate, almost weird city type thing. And you can go into the floors and everything. That used to be a storage area right there. He no longer has it um, open like that. And that house right over there used to be his house, but then, of course, he moved to spawn. And, well, you know, he kind of abandoned this place, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, is there anything that I missed in the free chest over here he's got? This used to be his enchanting area, by the way. Um, free! Six trap chests. Uh, nah. Nothing we need. Oh, I guess we'll take shears and flint and steel then. Yeah, nothing else we need, though. Nothing else we need. Okay, we're good on this. The last thing I wanted to show you guys on his part of this was, uh, on his old base was a skeleton spawner farm thing he had from here. Uh, he is literally swimming in bones and arrows at this point, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding, and it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but he, you guys saw him build a mob farm down in the uh, nether there. So the, this farm right here, not the mob farm, the blaze farm. So this thing right here shouldn't be much of a surprise to you guys as we head down here. I really got to fix my feather falling boots. Um, oh, a lot of people's junk down here. I wonder if this is mine. I don't know. I think it... Yeah, this looks like my junk. Um, stuff I didn't need, but hey. Okay, so he's got a skeleton spawner right there, which I think once they spawn down, they come through here. They drop off their stuff in there, and boom, boom, boom. Look at all the stuff he has. Like, it's not even funny. There's a bunch of bows, a bunch of bones. He is set on this stuff. He can open up his own shop at spawn, but shh, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> uh... This will probably be, now be a good time to mention, guys, that there is still room on the server, so if you're interested in joining up, please, oh, please go to the link in the description below, fill out the application, and send it in to me. I'll send it to the members, and we'll all vote on it. And the spots are limited, guys, so if you are not on an SMP server yet, um, please let me know down in the comments below. That'd be absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, and just follow the link in the description, and you'll find your way to the application. And we'll take care of it from there, and see if we'll see you on the future episode of 8-Bit SMP. Not that I'm ending the video right here, guys, but, you know. Now, what I didn't realize, guys, last time we were out here and everything, that, and what I didn't realize, guys, was that the fact that there's another build hanging out around there, around spawn, um, that I wanted to make sure we took care of uh, and showed off today, because it's kind of awesome. It's somebody's base that I just didn't know. Let's go ahead and click that right there, and we're going to take one of our horses here. Um, so... We don't want any of those spider eyes. They're kind of gross and disgusting. Matter of fact, I need those spider eyes. I need to start smelting them and 
making fermented spider eyes and all that wonderful juicy stuff. And we're heading out at night, so we definitely want to make sure that our sword is drawn and at the ready. So um, there's this interesting base going on in this direction as we go travel past his horse farm and everything. And past the maze, which you guys all saw last week. He act there's a I don't know whose base this is. I mean there's no indication of whose it is. It has to be somebody's though, and you know, it's far enough from spawn to where you don't really notice it, but it's close enough to where I can get to it quite easily. Um it's over somewhere in this direction, guys. And I don't really know where or whose it is. I wanna find out though. Um because of course there's the server start area right there that I showed off last week which by the way I was standing next to that one day um, I think it was yesterday or the day before um, yeah I'm fairly certain it was yesterday but let's go ahead and see if we can get over without oh no of course we can't okay horsey too short too short with you too short Oregon Trail it Oregon Trail okay too short there we go there we are right there right there so um, and a creeper anyway I was by the uh, our bells jingling, Willow. Um, so I was by the um, or the uh, start spot spawn spawn start th eight bit SMP start area, and a creeper kind of exploded the first half of it. I managed to rebuild it though. Um, so let's we'll go ahead and just put you right here. That's fine. Um, you want to hang up on the fence? That's okay too. Just don't run off far. This is somebody's base right here. I think. And I don't know who is it. I want to say it's Raging Echoes, maybe? I don't know. I really don't. No, it, I'm not sure. Um, somebody's been getting on the server before any of us really do, because I haven't seen anybody building this. This is kind of, That's what I like about the server. Everybody gets on at separate times, really, and these things just kind of appear. It's always uh, something new when I log on to the server. I like this one, though, because when I take... you got a good view of everything from up here. I mean, you can kind of see the server spawn off in the distance and everything, so... That's kind of amazing. Um, eh, right there, right there. And I just don't know who this is. So whosoever this is, let me know down in the comments below if you're watching my video today. Because hmm? I kind of want to find out and give credit in the video. Um, or my next video. So, But yeah, look at this. This is just awesome. And he even has a part that goes to the mountain right there. Um, which I'm not sure how I want to show that off to you guys. But... Yeah, it's it's definitely amazing. I I like it. I I think it's one of the better builds on the server, really. Um, everybody's so. One thing I like about playing on the server is everybody has their own unique building styles and that kind of thing. Um, none of it is exactly the same ever. So um, that's really nice for me to see because you know it'd be boring if everybody had the same one. Like I could easily do a creative world and show off my builds every week, but you know it that would just get boring for me and I'm sure for you guys as well. No horse. No no no. Oregon Trail it again, Oregon Trail it again, Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, back to shore. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hi, Enderman. I don't know why I like killing these guys. Thank you. Don't know if I got it. Yes, I, I just got a couple Ender Pearls looting on my sword. That's what I like. Um, so, yeah, it's always so interesting to see these builds. I mean, this one's kind of, these are just basically the ruins of 8-bit. <laughs> Tell sort of 8-bit's history and that kind of thing, but... Everybody has their own unique building style and that kind of thing, which I think is awesome and amazing, guys. Um, that's why I want to get some more people on the server here, which I'm making a hard plug for it, I know. But that's why I want to get more people in on the server, because I feel like 8-bit SMP could be more, you know what I mean? Um, and I want to see if anybody out there wants to make a part of it. If you film videos, great. If not, we're not too picky. I mean, you might be asked to be in a video once in a while, but that's fine. Um, but all of us have very unique building styles, and it's... It just astounds me. I like coming on every every day to you know see what's progress and what hasn't. So, um, so I'm not sure how wise it is to be riding a horse that way. So we're gonna keep going this way. But that, even though it's a very boring episode, guys, it kind of wraps up what um, 8-bit SMP for today. Um, if you like what's out here, want to see you do see me do more, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Join the JC's Net Travelers today. And remember, guys, that if you guys have any suggestions for me. To also let me know down in the comments below, they're always really helpful. And if I'm actually lapsing on videos I want to do later in the week, guys. I know Wednesday last week I took off, which I might continue to do. Um, and other days I took off as well that I don't didn't want to take off, but I did. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for this channel or any ideas for videos that I can do, please, oh please, let me know. This channel is what you make, you guys. I mean, I'm the one doing the videos and the recording, but that's that's I love to do it. Um, so if you have any more suggestions or anything... 
pl anything you want to see, let me down down in the comments below or you know send me a shout out on Twitter. Um, you can find me JC123 Adam on Twitter there. So go ahead and li find me there and just let me know, guys. And by the way, if you want to know how much feathers this thing generates, in addition to that much, we've got a whole another chest full over here. <laughs> that thing generates a lot of feathers. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!